from the last episode of the Fab Forums, I stole some Wi-Fi from my house at least. Showed you some new projects and told you I'd be working on the Bibster soon. Which hadn't really happened. Been really busy working on the shop, hot and heavy. Had a lot of you guys checking on me, which I appreciate. So I figured I'd give you a quick update on some of the progress and when, when I'm gonna get back to regular schedule. So, it's a funny story, or kind of funny story. When I was, when I was young, when I was in high school, me and my buddies used to always be working on our cars and doing whatever, and our girlfriends would always ask us how long it was gonna take. And it's kind of a running joke that if we said three hours, even if we were super confident in how long it was gonna take to do whatever it is that we needed to do, two hours, three hours, it always took twice as long. It's funny how that ended up working out. As time progressed, we kind of figured that out, and if we said three hours, then we knew it was gonna take six or eight. The reason I kind of mention that is because that is kind of what this shop has been for me. I mean, stuff like the Bibster, I know it's gonna take a long time. I'm okay with that. It's more about the journey for me versus having a finished product. It's about putting, putting my creativeness to the test. It's not about rushing through it so I can drive it or show it off or whatever. But the shop's a little bit different because obviously I want to be creative and I want to have what I want to have in this place, but I also want to work out of it. I want to build things. I don't want to be fixing the shop. I don't want to be I don't want to be making the shop. I want to be working on the bibster or the goose or Caliente or whatever the project is I want to be working on those because that's where the passion is not necessarily in the construction of a shop Although this is my dream shop, right? This is I have a vision for what I want to be like and I don't want to sacrifice that either I want to follow that through until it is what I envision it being No matter how long it takes I kind of think a lot of things in life should be looked at like that you should have a vision, a hard set vision on what it is you want, and you should pursue that vision until it's completed, no matter how long it takes. You gotta have patience. You gotta put in the work, right? I think people give up too soon. I think people forego their ultimate vision because they're not patient enough or they don't wanna put in the work. And so I don't wanna do that either, right? Anyway, long story short, on this project, on this shop, I want to put out content. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. I want to put out content. I want to be working on the Bibster. I want to get that thing done by the, by the end of this year, or really close to done by the end of this year. But it's hard for me to justify working on that thing and not finishing the shop. Like the shop needs to be done first so then I can put in the work, not be put in the work in a half-finished shop. 
or at least that's how I see it in my eyes. So what I want to do is, past videos I've talked a lot about what I'm going to do and it's, that's really kind of not, it's not how I want to, it's not how I want to roll, you know what I'm saying? I want to kind of show you what I've done, quit talking about what I'm going to do to show you what I've done. So I still have a lot to do, there's a lot of stuff I could tell you that I'm going to do. I'll wait for another video when that stuff is done. Let me just show you what I've got done. So I pretty much got the shipping container look kind of nailed down. Um, this is just, you know, some barn tin and then I actually had to make a special trim piece that kind of goes around this thing to kind of give it that third dimension. Uh, that trim piece is not far off what you would find for steel buildings except for that this side here is flat. Usually they put like a little kick in it. The awesome thing about this tin, if, you, if you're looking to do a project and you want to use tin, uh, most of these manufacturers will actually cut this stuff to length, so you can order it the exact length you want it. So for this piece here, these pieces are eight foot tall, so I just ordered eight foot tall pieces that I needed. It was already pre-cut, it was easy to or kind of sped up the process as far as putting these in, and I wasn't wasting money on stuff that I was going to end up cutting off anyway. Same thing with the trim. I ordered the trim just a little bit oversized so I could kind of trim it to fit, but I wasn't spending a bunch of money on something that might go to waste. Man, you got a rough weezer. So you guys seen this space, the old tin, whiskey barrel couch, and then now I've got the face on this, the trim piece across the top, obviously the lights, and I've got all this pretty much framed out the way I want it. So like I've said in past videos, barn door here, I'm going to hang the mini chopper here. There I go talking about what I'm going to do. But uh, I've already made a piece right here and I'll show it in a second. It's a big steel piece. It's going to basically hold that thing by its rear axle. And I've got it measured out where that thing's going to hang, uh, I don't know, 8 or 10 inches off the ground. And then I'm going to light it. So the headlight on that thing will light up the floor. I'm gonna under, I'm gonna put like lighting underneath it. It's all gonna be tied into this switch in here. So in here, ceilings are in, and this is uh actually, believe it or not, this is brand new galvanized tin. You can see that I've kind of weathered it. And then hung LED lights in here. Cool thing about these lights is I can actually change the color temperature uh, just by flicking the switch. So it's got three different temperatures. That's the brightest there. Use this for podcasts and whatnot. And then if I want to kind of match the lights right here, I can do that as well. So a couple extra pieces of the tin. So I mentioned this was brand new tin. And you can see on the other side, it's still brand new. What I did was I just uh, coated this stuff in muriatic acid. And so if you leave it on there long enough, it'll actually strip all of the coating off of it right down to the bare metal. And then you can allow this to rust. Uh, and it takes the coating itself and kind of etches it and makes it gray and weathered looking. And that's basically how I did all that on the ceiling. I didn't want it to be ultra rustic, but I also didn't want it to be super shiny and brand new. Shoe rock's almost done. Got to do a final sanding and then I think that's all going to be black chalkboard paint. I want to do big chalkboard murals. I want to be able to change it occasionally. And what I'll do to kind of combat the black, because it will make it darker in here, is I'm going to put, uh, probably going to put like a fascia on this that comes down cross through here and then I'm gonna under light it so it's actually gonna light this whole board itself but you won't be able to see the LEDs you won't be able to see the lights themselves you'll just see the lit wall what else I got going on all wired everything's ready to go and it's been an undertaking for sure. It's uh, taking me a lot longer than I thought it would be. I mean, mainly because I'm kind of working on this thing by myself a couple hours a day. I mean, I do have a full-time gig. Been really busy with the family as well. So 
two, three hours a night doesn't get you much done. So that's the steel piece there that I've made to hold the main chopper. So this will just kind of lap over the top of that thing. This will be vertical. And then what I'll probably end up doing, or the plan is as of now, kind of something like that. With uh, like a little kicker support rod. And got it measured out where the axle will probably sit about right there in that thing. Mini chopper is one of those builds, it's cool, but I, heck, I never use it, it just sits there. Gas turns bad, the carburetor gets clogged. I just never gets used, so I'm gonna put it on display. In all the moving, got the front light broke, but thanks to eBay, got a nice new one. Most likely clean that thing up, give it a fresh new little paint job before I get it hung. And then it'll just, just be a display piece. I wanna kinda put a lot of the stuff I've made on the channel over the years on display. That's one of them. All right guys, had a lot of you guys asking about me. That's what I'm doing. That's why I haven't put out any content. Once I get to where I feel like I'm really close to getting it finished, where it's kinda more usable and I can start organizing stuff in here, uh, I will start back on the Bipster maybe this weekend. I think uh, I may try to create a video on that thing finish with that turbo exhaust on the thing and uh, get a video out next week. So anyway, appreciate y'all checking on me. Been working, been putting in work, just haven't been filming. Trying to make, trying to maximize time, I guess. Anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more next week. Good do work, son.